not ready to give on the give up on the ship though. Abandon the Zuma plan because I still hope I'm going to Iskandar after all. I desperately want this trip to succeed. I also want to keep going for his too, for everything he gave up during the battle at All right, we are live. So, last time, since it's been a week, uh, two weeks actually, um, let's see what Beat the Space Wolf at long last. Um, next mission, Hermans, gotta take care of that. Whether or not I'm going on the true on the route to the true ending. And it's a real simple thing I have to do. Planard Lepada Porta H something detention center. Forgive for the inconvenience and all that fluid in his Kandarian, so I need to get a translation to communicate with you. I know it's a little late for introductions, but my name is Norn Esheto, Petty Officer Second Class. I apologize for your rough treatment from the Terrans. Um, boy, you're gonna get that pleasant surprise right about now. So. I knew it. These guys definitely mixed me up with the Orisha back on the ship. The caretaker should be arriving shortly, at which point you should get a new change of clothes. Put my mic a little closer. There we go. What a fun place to be this planet. This is where we mine up all our political and... And the Gantish... Gan... Gatrantisians prisoners. As well as mining energy crystals. That's a sentence that didn't... parse well in the translation. Oh, we have your militarily our me mechanized unit. Indeed, it's very monotonous to look at. But we also need them to hold need them in order to maintain our hold over the territory in these parts. Think of them as a legacy of our expansionist policy. The Empire is invincible now. Do we really? Nothing in this universe is forever. Remember that. The number of civilizations that have come and gone in this galaxy's history is a testament to that fact. Greetings. Welcome to Lep Lepetorza. Lep 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 Leptoporda. I'm Deval Zoborz, Warden of the 17th Legends. This guy didn't prove their prisoner right this way. Eliza here will take care of any need. Pleasure to you both. Apparently, they're imprisoning Liz Kandarians as political prisoners. Oh, or not. Uh, that's General Domo's wife. Bully. Isn't she General Domo's wife? Why is she here? I heard you've been arrested on political charges, but I would never guess she'd end up out here. The looks of things, I don't think she knows about. Yes, but it's not our job to tell her about her husband. Oh, uh, hello, Captain. Excuse me, there's something I'll, I need. Hold it. Where do you think you're going? I've been tasked to exporting her out to Gamblis personally. That's our job. That's not something a second-class Zaltzen like yourself should... Like you should concern yourself with. For that matter, we're Gamblins just like you. Silence! You dogs are most certainly not just like us. You all leech off the Empire and give nothing in return. You don't deserve to be treated as Gamblins. Boy, um, yeah. Definitely playing up the uh, gamblins as no really space Nazis thing here, except blue skinned. Um, stop this fighting at once. Yes, ma'am. And Doc commands you. Will you roll post haste? Yes, ma'am. Right away, ma'am. That is some really good grade A bluffing there. By Yuki. I hope Lieutenant Mori's doing all right out there. From what Yurisha mentioned, the Gamblins think they captured an Iskandarian. Thankfully, they probably won't give her any rough treatment. Why does that make her any safer than a Terran? 
I don't know. I, I guess she didn't explain that part. It doesn't exactly make me want to trust her when she's cagey about sharing stuff like that. She had to come from way far away to save our planet. If I had to guess, we're probably just a bunch of dumb hicks compared uh, to her, compared to what she's used to back home. I don't really get that vibe from her at all. She's not telling us anything we should really know. Exactly. I'm grateful for everything she's done, but the way she acts leaves a lot to be desired. I agree completely. If she really intends to give us the Cosmo Reverse system, I don't see what's stopping her from just having it sent to Earth directly already. Yeah, that's a good point. Possible scenario? It is big or difficult to ship in a overt manner, and they're doing everything on the down low. So, by equipping an Earth battleship, sending it out this way, and then having it them take the Cosmo Reverse system and then head back. It provides a degree of plausible deniability for Iskandar. Better Okida said that he thinks Iskandar is testing us somehow by doing... I'm sorry. Why am I using Okida's voice? Better Okida said that he thinks Iskandar is testing us somehow by doing all this. That's a hell of a test to have us take, traveling 1,6800 light years. Or 168,000 light years. Suffice it to say, I don't think she plans on telling us anything any time. Er, excuse me, sis. If you need to say something, you can just say it. I believe it is wrong to doubt the sincerity of others simply on the basis of the. I believe it is wrong to simply doubt the sincerity of others simply on the basis of potentially false presumptions. I know you're concerned about Rosalie and the others, but it sounds like you're talking more about yourself. Perhaps I am not certain. Well, take your time figuring things out, Nine. You know I'm always here to talk if you need it. But you also need to brace for what's ahead. You've no idea what's ahead of us, and all we can do is let Yurisha guide the way and hope she doesn't screw us over. It's not a good pronoun there. But also feels like they're running into a character limit there. Like... She would have, if they used she there, they would have had an overflow for how the text box works. Yes, yes, of course. Thank you for listening, sis. Sure, we're not being lured straight to the gamblins here. Wonder. Indeed, the deeper we go inside the large Magellanic cloud, the harder the gamblins will come after us. Sure. Well, to be fair, from their perspective, we are kind of invading their territory. I follow. You're saying that Eurasia came all the way to Earth to bring us out to Gamelus? This doesn't really add up. Yeah, that'd be a weird move on her part. But there's no other way to explain our current situation, is there? There is, I'd love to hear it. Not that I not, now that I really think about it, we don't really know all that much about the Gamelins at all, do we? I, I could bring up Melda, but they brought it up for me. No, we don't. Melda kept her lips shit filled about them. I know we'll be trying to make nice with the ELS, but I'm not sure we'll be able to reason with the Gamelins, too. Good up, Hathaway. Have you guys for have you forgotten that these guys relentlessly went, relentlessly went after Earth in the new correct century dimension? Still was on the brink? Yeah, but not everyone's bad. Look at Domo. Might still be able to talk them down in the end. That's a good point. There might still be hope yet. I doubt they're just going to up and stop attacking us just like that. We'll have to keep fighting as long as they keep trying to fight us. Been quiet, Lieutenant Kodai. What's your take? Uh huh? What are you talking about? Poor Kodai. He's so obviously in shock over Mori being. I'll find the Gamblins. What do you think we'll have to do about them in the end? Oh, yeah, that's a good question. Since Kodai and Shima, please proceed to the main bridge as soon as possible. Huh? Well, do you think something happened? Any alarms going off, so probably not an attack, but we can still hurry. Hello everyone, this is Melda Dietz. Thank you for letting me speak to you today. Hey Melda, you looks like you're doing well. I wish. I can't say I really am at the moment. You happened to run one of your big weeks, Goer, I think it was a while back. Did you ever end up pressing charges against him? 
Unfortunately not. When I got back to Gamelus, I was got involved in an internal political conflict, leaving me little room to maneuver. Although, I say more accurate, I guess it's more accurate to say that it was my father who was at the center of it all. But I mean, Gamelus is above a little drama. Right now, I'm close to where my father is being held as a political prisoner, out on planet Leptoporta. I can confirm that the Garden forces have been making moves in the general area too. Garden? What are they even what are they even doing there? Those are the guys who are after nine of the wave motion units. Could it all be related somehow? That I couldn't tell you, sorry. What I can tell you is that Planet Leptoporta serves as a prison for those who have dares express dissent toward the current status quo within Gamelus. There are also energy crystal mines on the planet, but it's not otherwise all that technically relevant. So basically, it is Gamelin Rurapente. Ensign Deech, Deech, can you tell us the pla coordinates for planet Leptoporta? I'm sending them to you as we speak. Or coordinates received. Planet Leptoporta is not along our current course, but it will only take a minor alteration if accommodated. All right, Ensign Ihara, I want you to send a message to all the captains of Earthfleet Tenku for me. Tell them we're playing a visit to paying a visit to planet Leptoporta. Yes, sir. Are you sure it's a wise idea, Command? I don't exactly the time to spare, but if Gardam is active in these parts, chances are high they'll butt heads with them down the line. Above all else, what we need right now is information on the Gamelins. What they want, while they attacked Earth to begin with. That knowledge is critical. I understand that. My own personal circumstances have certainly changed since I was on board your ship. I am willing to cooperate with you to those ends to an extent, if that sounds okay with you. Commander, all their ships have voiced their approval. Excellent. They're changing course. Our new destination is Planet Leptoporta. Yes, sir. Changing course to Planet Leptoporta now. We're going to Leptoporta. Risha, how long have you been here? You can't be on the bridge without the captain's commander's permission. Yuki, there. Leptoporta. What? She is? I guess they have a psychic link or something. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. And also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that.